and welcome to the dotted line chart customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to the project panel, going to the all graphs folder, and open up our line graph with dots folder and double click the line graph with dots render. Open that up. I'm going to give you a quick overview of this. We have our line graph with dots text layer. This is actually a pre-comp. Um, and we'll get into that in a second. Just wanted to show you that the animation is pre-comped, so here it is. And then we have uh, a few wipes that sort of help this animation transition out. So we have a track mat, an alpha mat, on our pre-comp for our line, our line graph for our background pattern and for our background color. So now let's get to it. Let's double click on the line graph with dots text composition. If we come here, our, our line chart is actually pre-comped in here as well. Um, and this is where you, this composition is where you would change the text on your graph and on your main title. Uh, and so and for any of these uh, text layers, you just double click and you can see that the text is highlighted in our comp viewer, which means it is editable. There we go. And for any of these text layers to change the font, the color, and the size, go to our character panel. You can use the color picker to change a different color. And we have our all caps option selected. If you deselect it, our text will be uh, reverted to the original formatting. So it was all lowercase. If you click all caps, it'll go back to being all caps. We also have a colors, uh, like a color palette. Pre-comp, this is a guide layer, so it'll only be visible in this comp. It won't show up any other comps. This is just to help you with your colors to maintain uh, harmony throughout your entire project. If you have a particular color palette that you want to work with. Let's customize our graph by double clicking on the enter line data with dots comp. We'll open that up. I'm actually going to hit the shy button to hide all the layers as there are a lot of layers in this composition. So just make it a little bit easier to see. And our first layer here is our graph controls. And this is where you can change um, the background graph. You can change the, the line length. You have all kinds of spacing options there. So you can play around with that if you like. Uh, this graph lines too. This is not, we'll just delete that because we don't need it. If we select the enter chart data layer and hit U on our keyboard, you'll see uh, the keyframes are brought up for all of our data. This, these are, this is actually animated, so it goes from zero to whatever uh, data you enter. So you will need to double click on the second layer, sorry, the second keyframe of each slider. So we have our enter data 01 slider selected. Double click on that second keyframe and you can enter your value here. As you can see it's updated. And you would repeat that for all of our data sets and you could have up to 20 if you like. If you don't want to see 20, say you only have like 15, let's select our turn on line 16 through 20. I'm just going to select all those and then uncheck the box and you'll see that those lines and dots are now gone and you can actually customize the space between each dot like spread them out so this is actually animated so we hit u on our keyboard for the enter chart data use our keyframe sort of navigation tools and make sure your current time indicator is on that second keyframe for the space between, and you want to extend that if you wanted to make that. Extend that out a little bit more. And now we have 15 dots and they're all spread out over this graph. So our next control layer is the dot controls and then you can change the size of these dots. You can make them really big or really small. You can also change the color as well fun. If you go to chart controls, 
uh, you can change the line thickness. We got our line color. We can change that if we want to.